stretching across 15,000 hectares, Wangi is the largest national park in Zimbabwe. But in recent years, wildlife poaching has become a real problem in the reserve. 100 African elephants have been poisoned with cyanide since 2013. Dozens of animals are killed every year for a number of reasons. There are also people who poach so that they can commercially trade. But it, we have discovered that in some cases, someone has lost the whole 10, 15 heads of cattle. They snare the lions, they poison the lions. They think that's a way of also revenge. But we have been trying to work with the community to educate them, and we are doing a lot with them, the traditional leaders, to make sure that at least we fight this problem. Financed by the International Fund for Animal Welfare, the Zimbabwean authorities have been developing a monitoring station in Makona, north of the park, for the past three years. A five-year program is underway. The aim is to create jobs, educate and work with the communities living around the reserve. To combat small-scale poaching, a dog unit patrols the park to find the snares that catch small game. All across the reserve, rural inhabitants trap and kill wild animals to eat. In the village of Makona, the economic situation is difficult. If there are people who kill animals, it's to get a piece of meat. This anti-poaching program costs a million dollars every year, but its funders say it's already made a difference. Over the past three years, there's not been any elephant poaching incident at uh, Wange National Park, which is testimony of um, the uh, impact that this conservation agreement uh, is uh, making. Second only to its neighbour Botswana, Zimbabwe is home to the largest population of wild elephants in Africa, an endangered species.